Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. And today we are uh, going to talk about microtransactions, Boo. the EA lawsuit, Boo. and how all of this is absolutely gambling when you start getting into the oh, loot absolutely. box mechanics. Something we have been very passionate about for a very long time, and we want to add our voices into this because, let's face it, if the gaming industry isn't going to do anything about it, then maybe we here in the U.S. as voters should. And not to get a little political, but this is BS, guys. Come on. Let's yep. get into microtransactions, loot boxes, EA, and their newest lawsuit in this upcoming conversation. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. All right, so obviously this is a, a conversation you and I have been having for what, probably a year or more now? Oh, at Ever least since two. I've started getting also, back into this. Apologies, I just need some vodka today. It's yeah, all good. vodka. Is it water? It's water. It's tap water. It's water. It's water. How do you know? Because I watched you do it and I don't have any vodka in my house. <laughs> God's water is weak. <laughs> no, but no, we've had we've been having this conversation for a while now, and uh, I'm in the same standpoint that I have been as I don't like it when you charge me a bunch extra, like twenty bucks a skin in a game I already paid sixty bucks for minimum. I start to get cranky. You start making it randomized, I get straight up pissed. In addition to that, there are news story after news story after news story that young children are being exposed early on to a sort of gambling style mechanic that is actually causing gambling addictive uh, personalities. Well, yeah, because I mean, you take somebody that is, you know, obviously young and doesn't have, you know, a ton of world experience yet, and they don't have a ton of concept of money. And this is where I get really after like the ESA and whatnot is, is that, you know what FIFA is rated, right? Yeah, it's ready for everyone. Yeah, and yet you have stories. I think that there are probably over two dozen stories, if not more, of kids just cleaning out their parents' bank. Well, those accounts. are the ones that were just public uh, 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 in publications. Yeah, I mean there could be more. You know, all of a sudden the parents get you know a ten thousand dollar you know credit card bill mm -hmm. because Junior wanted you know wanted Lionel Messi. Yeah, and it's no, it's absolutely gambling, and I don't care how many times you make them disclose the odds or whatnot. It's, it's gambling. And I, well, I, here's, here's the, you know, just to kind of cut to the chase and we can discuss from there. Here's where I'm at. Is it either needs to be, you know, banned outright because gambling is illegal in 49, 48 states, something like that. Mm -hmm. Or it's an instant and for mature. I think that... Actually, one better. It's an AO. You have to be 18 to gamble. You have to be 18 to buy a game with gambling. Yeah, no, and I, I don't disagree with with you in that front. And obviously, EA is facing their newest lawsuit. With yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a class stuff. action coming out of California. Yep. Of course it is. Yep. But, you know, uh, at this time... Well, good for you, California, I know, because I agree do, with you guys yeah, this yeah, time. I'm actually doing something right for once. Yeah. Um, oh, you know, shit. But, um, no, it's coming out of California. And, you know, it's somebody who I think, you know, got tired of this. And he looked at his credit card bill and said... No, this is bullshit. This is, you know, predatory, mm -hmm. you know, um, predatory business. You are using, you know, that Skinner box, whatever, you know, slot machines do mm -hmm. to prey on people that have, you know, essentially what is a light mental disorder that uh, doesn't have that stop in them. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, then that's and that's just addictive personality uh, mm -hmm. is is really what it adds up to. And everybody has. I mean, I you know I've dealt with uh, with things uh, uh, with addictive personality disorders and stuff like that in in my own family. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's one of the things that a lot of people don't seem to understand about this is it's not that, well, why don't they just stop? Why don't they just stop? I'm like, I don't, I don't think you guys Th understand. They don't have that, that thing that, that says to stop. It's like an alcoholic or no. somebody who's addicted well, to and let's, a So let's get into drug. something that's also been, also been discussed, too. I mean, you had uh, that story that came out not too long ago about that, uh, that like 17-year-old kid that cleaned out $20,000 from his parents yeah. through, through Twitch streams. It was yeah. all Twitch streams. And it's you, you just donated. Get, so I yeah, mean, just well, you get into that too, and it's because well, I want to feel a part of something, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Oh, and that that hundred and fifty dollar donation or that five hundred dollar donation, oh, that makes them feel good, which makes me feel good because they recognize me. And I'm like, and the problem is, is that, that there's this there's this idea that if 
Because and 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 it, and it goes to a much deeper issue in our in our society, which we're we're not going to touch oh, on that. Yeah. I mean, I, I have to touch on it a little bit here, but we're not bit, but we're not going to go into deep that dive, deep dive. No. But it's but. it's this thing that where especially young people who have access to money, um, uh, if they don't feel like they're a part of something, the best way to feel a part of something is to get that quick recognition from their favorite streamer oh, by indeed. by sending them five hundred dollars to or or whatever the whatever the price is, and it's this and it's this thing, and then you become addicted to that. Well, it's Again, the same. It all, it, it, it's all comes back to you know that whole dopamine rush right yeah and whether you get your you know a super rare uh player in fifa or you get that recognition it triggers the same response and if you don't have that thing that says stop Mm -hmm. and and the problem is too is especially i get after the parents i mean cognitive well no no i get after the parents hugely uh for a lot of this because i mean when we were kids it was i I, I didn't have consoles tied to a credit card no way no no not not only not tied to a credit card but on top of that you're only allowed to do x amount I mean, stuff was hidden behind passwords. I had to leave the room. I didn't know what my pass, what my parents' passwords. Oh yeah, passwords yeah, yeah no, was. I, I, I straight up could not play online for a good chunk of my growing up. Mm-mm. Not that my, it was that big a deal dad, at the time, but my, you know, my dad uh, told me that the because I was not allowed to use a credit card, and the one thing that <clears throat> Xbox Live would do was that, because you could go get the Xbox Live cards from like GameStop or, like or Walmart, Walmart or yeah. something like that. And those would be acceptable because it was just a code. Right. But I couldn't access my dad's credit card because you have to have your credit card on file. So what I would do is I would give the money to my parents and say, hey, my Xbox Live is going up because I made money. Yeah. Or... You know, I would, or I'd let my dad know and be like, "Hey, dad, I, I gotta, uh, um, you know, I gotta find a way to make some money this week." Um, you know, because I was a kid. I mean, I would mow lawns. I did all this stuff. Right. You know, so and, did I, and, and, and sometimes my dad was super cool. He's like, "Hey, you know what? Screw it. It's like sixty bucks. I'll get it for you for the year." I'm like, "Are you sure?" Like, yeah, right. You know. Now that being said, he's like, you know, and my dad was like, "Well, you know what? I might need you to do something extra for me this year. We don't yeah. know." And and trust me, my dad's extra was not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dad's extra. Was it not it wasn't mowing the lawn. No, no, um, it wasn't mowing the lawn. It was, hey, go take down a thousand foot of barbed wire. Right. What? All right. Well, I guess. What, but, uh, but that's one of the things too is that it, it doesn't seem like there is this, there is this stop gap. Uh, and again, going back to the parents, it doesn't seem like because that seems to be where this conversation evolved to is that parents don't seem to be. Well, I want to analyze well, it's the this classic, situation. It's the classic complaint, right? Parents have been since the you know the 1950s letting the TV raise their children, right? right. I mean, that's it's been the, the whole cla- point of the, shows like Sesame Street. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, and and so you really do end up in this place where you know uh, I think a lot of these a lot of these companies understand that parents are less and less involved. And they just well here Johnny here's a you know here's and we're the, gonna your, hide it we're gonna know, hide here's it your behind super game station pro pro you know pro plus and and the game companies yeah. know that these children probably aren't being all that closely monitored so they hide it behind a bunch no. of flashy lights and you know a bunch of flashy well what's ninety nine cents here what's ninety nine cents and there? that's what's ninety nine cents here you know and and they think oh well it's not not thinking in their mind well it's only a dollar every time I do it and they're like yeah but you did it four thousand times this month yeah you know and. And, I, and then I, all I of a sudden, briefly, the kid, and then all of the kid, the sudden, the kid, the children do not seem to understand that what they're doing is one habit forming, which is yeah. hugely bad. I mean, as two people sitting here who both have smoking habits, yes, you know, we understand how Among easy others. it is, and well, yeah, probably, yeah. I don't know. Is that a habit? Because I know you and the, I've walked away for it, uh, like. It depends on the person. Well, that's true. It does depend on the person, but I know, like you and me, like. The quitting the smoking thing, that's definitely a rough thing. That's definitely a habit. Oh, yeah, you know? no, and no, and it's definitely got both its physical and psychological. Well, yeah, and now here, and it's all psychological. And then here's the thing is that here's, you get this over This is the, all psychological. This is all psychological. Everything that's going on with with these people that are, and, and it's predatory, and it's hugely predatory. If you've actually seen some of the behind well, the was, scenes, because you, you've seen some of the behind the scenes oh, board where meetings. They, where they sit there and they talk about whales, how to get people you know hooked on it, find the people who have these issues, mm-hmm. so that way they can support the people who only play for free. Yes. And, uh, no, that's actually a business that's, practice. That's free, for, that's free to play models. That doesn't even count for FIFA because that's $60 to buy in. Yeah. No, but no, you're right. But no, they do absolutely look for people and they design everything around. They actually have psychologists come and, and tell how do, them how, do how, I how hook to them? do it. How do I, how hook, do I hook them? It's essentially and drug dealing of the 21st century. It is. It really is. Well, and guess what? The drug is all up here. Yep. And that first hit's never going to be... Like it was again. I mean, well, if you if you've I've ever, heard that's true with the physical ones too. Yeah, but well, uh, trust me, I've I uh, again I've dealt I have a family members that have right, gone down yeah. some bad roads before. 
thank God they've all gotten, you know, into better places in their lives. But no, I've seen it. Yeah. I, I've seen I've seen what drugs do, and that's exactly what this is. It's just a mental well, drug. I, I because even people, had a brush. People go, well, it's mental. It's not. No, I don't think you understand. Is because everything that we feel, everything that we do, every thought that we have sends an electric signal through our brains that then releases neurotransmitters into our body, which makes us feel a certain way. Dopamine and that, being one of the strongest. Dopamine, serotonin. If you ever uh, wondered why you like that chocolate bar, and if you're stressed, that chocolate bar takes ex- tastes extra uh, sweet. Chocolate releases dopamine. Yeah, well, to a small level, and that's a little more wives' tale than. But yeah, no, you're right. It does. Wow. It does have some. Uh, if I'm, if I'm off on the science, I heard that ages ago, and I never questioned it. Well, but, no, but yeah. but that's one of the things that people do not seem to understand about this is that these companies are getting away with illegally letting children do a habit forming, addictive form of gambling. Yes, and it's all you know, and it's all okay. It's well, all okay, it's and, it's, just, and it's and it's an, an E for rated game. Yeah, like this my isn't, eight year old could do it if you didn't know. No, yeah, and that's why that's why when I go buy video games, I make phone calls to all my boys here. This being one of them, and I say, "Hey, and Master I'm, Convoy, who we talk about, uh, yeah, is even on exactly, the yeah, and, yeah, and Convoy Bebop too. I call him, I call, and I say, "Hey guys, I'm looking to buy a video game for the kids." Right? What's a good game? What's a game that is is you can't is go good wrong for with anything Nintendo? No, and and so I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna buy a Nintendo Switch. So I bought two of them apparently. Well, I still but, remember when the kids managed to buy a game on my PS3. Now it's my you know dumbass fault for not having a password locked. It was directly after, <laughs> but uh, I didn't think that they'd figure it out. Yeah, no, no. Children are hugely <laughs> smart. Oh yeah. And children, and and here's the things is that if you've ever been a kid, you know how to hide stuff from your parents. Oh yeah. Whether it's sudden, now it, it, you, it you might get caught eventually, but some kids are good they might well, it was just funny because i go to boot up i think i was gonna play like my baseball game or something and all yeah. of a sudden persona 5 sitting there and i'm like why persona 5 royce did you buy this you know mama runner did you buy this and no no uh, we didn't no and i was just like because you know for those of you who don't know persona 5 is like a multi-hundred hour jrpg yeah like this isn't like a kid's game this isn't you know it's not overly no, mature but the picture looks cool but it's not overly mature either it's just it's really long really involved but the picture a lot of reading cool. yeah you know yeah. and so that's probably why i got there but no but that's one of the things is that people need to understand this thing is that children are hugely smart they understand how to hide uh many things from their parents especially if they feel that it's bad you know yeah uh, which in a lot of this money spending is that's why these kids are getting caught spending tens of thousands of dollars well on the extreme end but i mean even a couple hundred is too much oh my god that could break some people yeah. you know i, I mean uh, we actually th- we actually have a good friend not gonna name the name uh you'll yeah. find out after stream but uh, oh, okay. we have a good friend mutual friend of ours uh more of a friend of mine because you met him through me but he actually had to give up uh, uh, playing certain games because he was getting into the loot box trap, and notice, oh, I mean, he was yeah, spending yeah, hundreds yeah. of dollars. You know who I'm talking about? I no, I don't know who you're talking yeah. about, but I've been there. I had a brush with it back yeah. when I was uh, in college. Uh-huh. This would have been 2011. Mass Effect 3 came out. Yeah, and it had loot boxes for the multiplayer. And I was sitting there, you know, just playing one night, just poking around. I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what these things are because this was my first experience with loot boxes. Right. And I'm sitting there going, all right, fine, I'll, I'll buy a couple packs. And I was working at the time, so it wasn't right. that big a deal. But all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, and I'm on like my fifth one going, I just spent 20 bucks and got literally nothing. Nope. And yeah. I, I, I shut it off. No, and that's a terrifying thing, and that's something that... All of a sudden, I just sat there, and I just... They, but it's 99 cents. It's 99, 99 cents. And all of, all of a sudden, I'm sitting there going, in the course of two hours, I just spent 20 bucks on a game I already paid 84. Yeah. I'm done. And that's one of those things. And I things haven't bought one cents. And that's one of those things is that these, these, these buy companies understand. These companies games. don't do this. And these companies have openly said that they probably, that, that there have been a few things you got to kind of find them, but they, they wouldn't play these games. Oh, yeah. Or, nor would they let their kids do it, but they're happy to let uh, somebody yeah. else's. Yeah. They're happy to let somebody else's kid. And, yeah. they don't, and they don't look at the psychological damage that it can do for the rest of someone's life. Well, and, you know, even in a. Uh, you know, you know, upfront sort of uh, microtransactions, though they're getting rapidly less micro. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just look at something like Fortnite skins. I mean, there's been reports of kids getting bullied because they're vanilla in uh, yeah. Fortnite. Well, and that all and goes... And so that pressures them to buy these $20, $40, $60 skins because... Yeah. And well, and that all goes into a lot of, again, this parenting aspect is that I know children out there that just, you know, and I knew them when I was a kid and I know them now... That, you know, well, mommy and daddy just bought this thing for me. And a lot of it comes from, uh, um, not to 
get into some of my own personal beliefs right. on this one, but you see a lot of this, especially in divorce households. Well, yeah, because they're essentially buying affection. A- exactly. Yeah. And and that's, that's been well documented. That's I been think. well documented at yeah. this point. And I would actually love to see a study as to where the, a lot of this addiction comes from. Now, some of it doesn't, some of it, mom and dad are well off and well, here's a credit card and once in a while you can buy something and they just can't turn that off. off. Yeah. And it's just like, why well, I have the credit card. It doesn't matter. And they just, and that impulse control just, just isn't there. Just isn't there. And I mean, for a freaking 12 year old why would it be and no 12. well and sometimes a 17 year old keep in mind the yeah. frontal lobe is not fully developed until well, yeah. you're 25 i mean i know 25 year olds 30 year olds 50 year olds who yeah. have problems with this no absolutely and it's but i'm saying you know if you have 50 year olds with a problem with this what expectation do you have for somebody who's not even exactly well exactly and that's yeah. the problem is people think well well you could just stop you could just stop you could just stop. no because scientifically you can't yeah you can't just stop but that's not how it works the frontal lobe is not fully developed like i haven't been able to sit and veg in front of a tv since I turned 21. No, absolutely But I could do not. it at eight, no problem. No, absolutely not. Hey, guys, please stand by for just a moment. Hold on. Yes. All right, sorry about that. Had a lot of background noise. Yes. But that's one of the biggest things that I just... And, and, and again, these companies... They're right to be getting sued. And I'm the type of person that I hate this sue happy world that we live in because I think it's just too overly done. But the fact of the matter is, is these people understand the psychology. They hire people that understand it. And they go after the people who are weak to this. They go after the most susceptible in society. No different. It's no different. Exactly what they're doing. They go after people with the flashy marketing. It's no different than bad fast food all week. It's no different than than this. We sit here and we drink this. It's no different than cigarettes. It's no different than drugs. It's it's the same thing. You saw how they would market to young men with a lot of the old alcohol ads, especially, you know, Budweiser. Yeah. What they'd do is they'd get some swimsuit model from Sports Illustrated or Victoria's Secret or whatever, and she'd be sitting there sipping on a, you know. It's no different. Yeah. It's the same. It's exactly the same. It is predatory marketing techniques, which all marketing techniques are predatory to a certain To well, a certain extent. But, you know, there's a difference between the I want to sell you on my idea mm-hmm. to I'm going to deliberately well, use psychological warfare to get you to spend more than you can. There's a difference between a billboard on the side of the highway that says, Hey, looking to buy a house? Call our real estate firm, you know. At- or you hire some model and you have her, you know, pose in, you know, for next to a Budweiser bottle. And, you know, it's that like that old uh, skit, you know, oh, pretty lady next to wheel. Make me want lady wheel, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. yeah. yeah, right. It's, it's, you know, it's that. And it's, you know, you know, it's all that sort of thing. And so there's a but there's a difference. You're not sitting there and you're not directly triggering that dopamine response. Especially tied to, you know, something intangible. You know, I know trading cards got into a lot of uh, kerfuffle over this along with it because, you know, randomized gambling. It's gambling, no different than, you know, what this is. But the way they get away with it is you get a physical product. The value of the you, you pay well, $4.99 as- for cards. Now, the value of those cards is up to the individual. So, ah, yes, these cards. I was wondering what he was doing. Yes, yes, these cards. I bought a lot of these cards. Both when I was a kid and... Uh, n- n- so here's recently. the thing, right? At least with these here. Yeah. Right? Oftentimes, they didn't exactly promise you. Now, these ones here, you did get a promise of it. Well, yeah, you got the one on the 10, But these here, literally. this is the only one that actually doesn't have the, the thing for it still. Right. But this here, you were basically told on the back of the card packs, here's all the stuff that you could get. Right. And here's all the stuff that you could get. And oftentimes, if you might not have gotten the shiny, but you got the card that you wanted, right? Right. And you're told the card list up front, and you are told that, but all of these cards, especially nowadays, if you're going, if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, all of these cards work in a certain way uh, to help build your deck. So it's not that you're just like, oh, I need that one thing. I need that one thing to be super for cool or be whatever. Deck for maybe. this one, but that's what I'm saying is for this, yeah. for these cards. Well, and I, stuff, I, I, I don't know about that. I know a lot of people who are chasing after Mirror Force back in the day. 
back before it came with like the because it was like the second Yugi deck they started getting no, no, those no, things no. out. But but, but that's yeah. what I'm saying is a lot of this here and especially back then it was just kind of you just kind of had to have strong monsters. So that's really all you cared oh, about. Oh no, back all this all this you know crazy stuff didn't come up until later. No, much uh, later. But that's the thing is that trading cards are entirely different, and especially if you do collector stuff or you're or you are also, a collector. That's I think that's also where because they, they are tangible. There's no trading in FIFA. You can't say oh well I have. Lionel Messi, you know, and I want, I don't know soccer, so other star player. Right. You can't swap them. Say, I have two Messi and I want one of him. You can't trade them. They're tied to your account. Whereas with these, if I have two red eyes and I want a luster dragon. Right. I swap you. Yeah. Or if you have three blue eyes because you bought three Kaiba decks and you get a fourth one, you go, mm, here. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, and that's one of the things, too, is that they're, they're, they're preying on this ability that you... Once it's done, it's done, and you can't undo it. There's no take backs. There's no There's getting no your return. money back. There's, There's no, no returns. returns. There's no trade in. There's no tangible value to the item. No. And then here's the you know even better thing: the server shut down three years after. Mm -hmm. When by the time you know so FIFA 2021 is what we're they're being sued over now. So by 2024, it'll be shut down, and we'll be on to FIFA 2025. And it doesn't matter. And all that stuff that you bought just goes away. Goes away. Either. And you don't get any. Uh, you know. compensation you don't get any mm -mm. not even like a 15 percent kickback towards you know players in the next game how easy would that be yeah you spent you know x amount in fifa 2021 so you get a 30 dollar credit towards fifa 2022 you know what the biggest problem with that is though that would incentivize the gambling mechanic more these companies are using psychologists they are using predatory business practices and they are using the most devious ways to literally prey among the people who cannot turn that off. They don't have that off switch. And yeah. so that being said, I honestly, I'm glad these companies are going to start getting sued and I hope that they get sued to a point oh, yeah. where they also, knock it the hell off. And you know, Rockstar, you're next to my sites because they literally built a casino into GTA Online. Proper for money casino. Like slots, craps, uh, poker. That is rated M for mature. It is, but it's still not eighteen and up. And it's still not, and gambling is still not legal in in all places, at yep. least in the United States. So, let us know what you guys think down below about the predatory business practices, about gambling mechanics with loot boxes, or even just microtransactions in general, because it's not limited to the gambling. The gambling's the most egregious. Yeah, but you see it even in the upfront, especially when they want thirty five for a freaking skin. Mm -hmm. Let Looking us know what you guys epic. think down below because we want to hear your thoughts. And just always remember, guys, if you guys comment down below and you bring new opinions and thoughts to us that make us think, we could do a video on it and you guys could absolutely get a shout out. So go down below. Make sure that you guys comment. And while you're scrolling down, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for us. We really do appreciate it. It helps and a lot. And hopefully you guys come back next time for a drink with crazy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.